Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to 2023. Welcome to the first original video of 2023. Um, the last three weeks have just been absolutely insane. Uh, getting through the holidays, getting through a lot of travel, getting everything back on track. Um, I got back to this a little bit later than I wanted to, but I am getting back into it and I'm glad you're here for it. Uh, one of the things I definitely wanted to get into and, and be more involved with um, was the comment section and requests from you guys for doing videos. Um, I definitely wanted to pay more attention to that because you guys have made a bunch of suggestions and I found a whole lot of cool music and, and I just haven't been able to make the videos that I wanted to make. So I'm trying to adjust my schedule more, give up a lot of stuff to spend more time with the videos. And uh, we'll be focusing that on that a lot more moving forward into 2020. So one of the first ones I wanted to do came from um, a comment on one of the recent videos uh, from Apostle Half-Life. I had to put that into Google Translate because I don't know how to speak brushes. <laughs> but uh, Apostle Half-Life sent this to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, hi, I wanted to introduce you to a Russian band, Rock Privet, that makes non-standard covers of songs. The idea is to take the, the world hit, a Western hit, and connect it with a hit from Russia. And then he posted links to the two original songs and then the cover of which we'll be watching here. Um, this is really cool. So he, 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 the, the band rock privet is taking a song, uh, that's about, I think it's about 11 or 12 years old from a Russian band named Oscar. Uh, and the name of the song, um, Definitely, definitely has a very cool feel about it. And I'll post links to the video and everything in the description so you guys can check it out because it's really a, worth, a, a song worth checking out. Uh, I had to go find the lyrics for it and I could only find the lyrics in one place. So I know I'm probably going to have trouble with this because they take this, so this, this song and I'm sure they adjust the lyrics. I'm not sure how much they adjust the lyrics because I don't speak Russian, so I'm assuming they adjust it a good bit because they have to fit it on top of five finger death punches. If you guys have never heard it or seen it, the video is really powerful, really great, great, great video. Uh, it has about 384 million views in the last eight years. Oscars uh, has something like, I think it was like 23 million views, 20, almost 22 million views in the last four years from this link that I was sent. Um, so that all gets blended together. And it's really cool because there's a, there's an adjustment to the lyrics that they adjust to the song and the song is adjusted to Oscar's original song as well. So, and it comes up with like this all original song. Uh, so this is what we're going to be checking out today. Um, so without any further ado, uh, this is rock privet with a cover of Oscar and five finger death punch, uh, between me and you. Guess I ought to bring it up for you, huh? Okay, let's go. Yeah. 
the, the lyrics here for the first verse uh, and chorus, how much of what remained of us is with you now? Only a tiny bit and blind pity leaves with, lives with me, my weariness. Between me and you, only the wind remains. Between me and you, just the words, where are you? So it's, it's, this, it's this song about separation. It's this song about longing between uh, this per, the, the singer and the person that he's lost. Um, and it sounds really cool. The uh, the you can definitely hear the influences. I mean, when the song sucks out, you, you definitely sound uh, hear the sounds of Five Finger Death Punch, even with the singing itself. Um, now, I checked out another one of these songs so he can definitely adjust his voice, which is really cool because he has such a great sound there. And um, this is really coming across where the where the original song is more of like almost a ballad or more of like a. Uh, uh, a new wave love song kind of thing or something like that here he's taking all that that emotion from that but putting it into this rock tune and it really sounds great the way they're blending this up and i know some of the lyrics are off uh from the lyrics i have from what i'm hearing i can i can definitely hear like a couple lines moving i don't know where they are or what they are but it just this still sounds really cool solo It's, it's not your fault that I ache for you, that I'm turning gray. You come to me and I comfort you and I feel regret. And then through the chorus and then, but speeding toward us on my path and alarm, the distance of life is too great or too long. So like there's this realization that like life is too short and we're too far apart and, and there's all this regret. It's just uh, great lyrics, great lyrics. The uh, and, and the way he sings it with all this emotion, I just love it, man. This is just I know I know the 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 lyrics are turning around and 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 kind of changing, um, but I don't care because I still understand what it is he's getting at, and you can like feel that that longing and that angst and that regret in there, and it's really really cool.
Yeah. So that's so cool. And if you, actually you can see like here, they actually, uh, you can see some of the other covers that they do. <clears throat> I don't know the, the Russian artists that they're using here, but you can see where they cover Metallica. They cover Stone Sour. They cover Ramstein, Ramstein, Ramstein. Um, so I'm definitely going to be diving into the band and finding some more because it's, it's really cool to hear when a band does a good cover. I, I despise a cover that is just a cover. If you're going into a studio and you're spending time covering a band or a song that you love and it comes out sounding exactly the same as the one that was written 10, 20, 30 years ago, you didn't do nothing for me. Take it, break it down, make it your own. That's what I love. And and I have no idea. I, I don't know the original lyric song for this Oscar um, between me and you. I've, I've seen the original video and it's really cool. Really cool video. Please check it out. Um, but but knowing what I saw before I saw this one and then seeing this one and then seeing what they did with the music, because you could, you definitely get those that five finger death punch influence there. And, and it sounds like it coming into it. But then you hear throughout the song the influences from the other song as well. And, just, and and then adapting the lyrics to fit into the style of Five Finger, while you're adapting the music to adapt to Oscar is just that 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 takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of talent, and the guitar work is awesome, <clears throat> not only on the lead but also on the rhythm. The drummer's really good, and the singer just has a set of pipes to die for. Uh, I I wish I'd had a set of pipes like that coming up. Maybe I would have been a rock star. Either way, tell me what you thought. What do you think? You want to see more like this? I'd, I'd love to get into this band and check out more. I'd love to see what it is they did with Ramstein. I have no idea what song they covered by Ramstein or what so Russian song they put on top of it. So that would probably be pretty, be pretty interesting. Um, but leave me a comment below, please. Let me know what you think. Sorry for all the coughing and, and clearing my throat. Uh, hopefully I'll be over this soon. But uh, I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. In the meantime, please check out the other stuff. I do have a few new uh, videos up right now. Uh, and I'd love to get your comments on those as well. And let me know what you think. So please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you have not already. Share this with your friends and your complete strangers. And uh, drop me a comment below. And I'll definitely see you next time. Thank you, guys. Love you.